Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on and thanks for watching this video now. I got some lovely gifts sent to me. Susie Watts, thank you very much. Um, all the lovely gifts that you sent. Um, you sent me that salt and vinegar spray, didn't you? Fantastic. And also this gift as well. Now, I've not seen this before um, and I thought I'd just sort of utilise it. Um, so please come and have a look at what I've got. So look at this Lurpak Garlic Butter, 125 grams. Now it is a little bit bashed in transit. There it is, look. Um, and it, uh, you probably have noticed it's been had. We have been into it. We could not resist. But I thought I would show you it anyway. <laughs> Now, I've not seen this before. It's probably because it comes from Sainsbury's. And we don't have a Sainsbury's where I am in Barrow in Furness um, or in the surrounding areas. So I can't get hold of any Sainsbury's. I can't get hold of Waitrose. Um, and I can't get hold of any Lidl. So I believe it was £1.55. pence. Please don't quote me on that. I'm just going off what Google says. Um, and I know what you're all saying. Oh, that is so lazy. You can make your own, and normally I do make my own. You know, just chop some garlic up or put it in a crusher and stick some butter and Bob's your uncle there, you've got garlic butter. But, you know, I mean, this comes in handy, doesn't it? It really does when you, you, you know, when you've got no garlic for a start. <laughs> um, so, you know, don't, don't shoot the messenger. I am just showing you the product. <laughs> and what I have got, I've got some mushrooms now. They're a little bit... Let's just say they're a little bit brown, but they're all right. I've had them worse. So I'm going to do some garlic mushrooms on some crusty bread. So I'm going to use it and I'm going to see what it's like. So look at these mushrooms. So they're, they're on the way, like, you know, they need using, I'll be honest. And they're probably five, six days over the sell-by date, but we're not worried about that. Let's be honest, the mushrooms at end of day. And uh, let's get this open and see what it's like. So, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just butter, isn't it, garlic? It's just garlic, garlic butter. There we are, look. That's all it is, look. You can see the, the sort of the bits of garlic in it, look. They're stuck in it. I'll have a look at the ingredients um, and tell you what, what's, what's in it. Um, so, I don't know if you can see that. Zoom right in there. I'm sure you can. There they are, look, butter, milk, 89%, garlic, 7.8%, um, garlic puree, garlic, granulate, garlic powder. So, yeah, it's all garlic, basically. <laughs> um, any allergens? It's in, in bold, it's very difficult, isn't it? Very small writing. It's a 125 gram block, and I tell you what, we had it on toast the other night, and, well... It's just like garlic butter, that's all it is. <laughs> but I'm going to do some garlic mushrooms. So while I was in Iceland, I've seen these buns. I'm, I'm, going to, um, I'm going to have some of these six white part baked crusty bread rolls. So I'm going to get these in the oven, get some uh, garlic butter on them with some mushrooms and some cheese. And we'll go from there. I've spared you the, uh, <laughs> I've spared you the viewing pleasure of chopping all these up as well. So I'm just melting the butter in the pan and um, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to get the mushrooms on there. So I'm just going to give it a spray with some sunflower oil. Um, so I don't want it all burning and, and I was told the top tip, if you, if, you, if you mix the butter with the oil, it doesn't burn. I don't know how true that is. Let me know in the comments. So let's get these mushrooms in there now. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's smelling good. It's smelling really good. So I'm going to give them a salt as well. Because um, I want some salt on there. And I'm going to give them some pe pepper as well. So I'm going to stick some black pepper on there as well. Oh, I'm going to mix them up now. Oh, look at that. Lovely. So I've got, I've got the heat whacked up really high because there's a lot of water in um, the mushrooms there and, and I don't I don't wash the mushrooms beforehand 
because it just absorbs all the water and I've got the heat really high to sort of get rid of the water. I don't want them stewing in there, I want them frying, but you know, the heat on this isn't that great to be honest, so I'm just gonna let them, um, I'm just gonna let them cook away. And they don't take too long neither. I don't know, you could add a, chop some garlic up and throw that in there as well, but you know, I'm just trying to use this butter and see what it's like. Garlic butter. <laughs> You had some double cream now, you could throw that in there, couldn't you, as well, and mix it all up. Oh, lovely. So the bread's done. I've just stuck, stuck a, knob, a knob of butter on it. And I'm just sort of like... Letting that melt in. Spreading it and letting that melt in. I'm going to get me all the uh, mushrooms over the top of that now. Because they're done. So the mushrooms are done. They're going to go on there now. Get them on there. Can't waste any of these. Whoa. Tell you what, your garlic mushrooms used to have them years ago when I was like caught in the early days. Used to go out to a take a take a lady to the old um the local restaurant. There's always garlic mushrooms on. And I always used to love garlic mushrooms. So I what I'm gonna put some cheese on there now as well. So I've got some of that pe pecorino cheese. Um so I'm gonna give it a Let's have a look, see how this works. I think it's that way, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Just a little bit. Don't need a lot. Well, oh, you can put as much as you want on, to be honest. <laughs> so there we go. It's just a it's just a quickie. It only takes like five minutes to knock up. You can stick them under the grill if you want and, and melt all that cheese on there as well, but it'll, it'll just melt, melt on as they go. Look. You could slap another knob of butter on there as well if you want, but I'm going to chop them in half and sort of like dip it in. Well, I'm not. I'm putting some more butter on. <laughs> I'm going to butter them. You might as well. If you're going with garlic butter, you might as well go the whole log. You know what I mean? There's no point. Um, that's just melting in now, that cheese. Look at that. Oh, like I say, if you put some dub double cream, you could mix that in there. And... Oh, yes. Double cream. Look at that. Lovely. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Have a look at that. Oh, thank you very much, Susie Watts. There it is. So I'm going to get into it. So if this is your kind of review, please give the video a thumbs up. Dropping it all. And maybe consider subscribing, that really does help. Helps the channel. And it's, it's nearly summer. <laughs> Any excuse? Um, so thank you very much. Here, yeah, cheers. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh. oh, it takes you back, doesn't it? It really does. Garlic mushrooms on crusty bread. It's very garlicky, you know, I mean, it's, you can make your own, I know you can, I'm just showing what it, you know, what you can do with it, it's handy to have in, and it's just a gimmick, but it's a cracking little gimmick, it's a, it's a nice, nice little, it's a nice gimmick, I like it, look at that, look at that, lovely, I mean, it's, it's very salty, I like salt as well though, because the pecorino is quite salty, and I added salt, to the mushrooms, but it's lovely. Look at that. Look at that. It's butter. So thanks very much for watching. I'm going to enjoy that now. Um, and I'm going to go live um, Wednesday night um, at eight uh, 7.30 on the other channel on uh, Staying In Beer Reviews. Please feel free to join me Wednesday night. Let our air down. Sort of midweek special. See how it goes. Might, might become a, a regular thing once a fortnight on the other channel. So take care, all the best, and I'll catch you on the next one.